This video is sponsored by NuVet Labs. NuVet Labs provides your pet with products that are completely safe, nutrient-rich, and formulated to strengthen the immune system, helping to give your pet many healthy years of life. Click the link in the description below or call the number shown and use order code 30690 and save up to 15% when you go on auto ship. New Vet Labs, your pet's best friend. Hey everybody, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. Please like if you enjoy the content of this video. Subscribe if you're new to our channel as it really helps us out. In this video, we're just gonna show another overgrown matted pad clipping. In recent times, we're seeing so many injuries due to overgrown pads with dogs slipping and sliding on hardwood floors and tile floors that are just the new in thing to have as opposed to carpeting where dogs used to be able to jump around and get more traction. With the hardwood floors and the tiles and over overgrown pads, it's like dogs are wearing ice skates on their feet and it's become very, very dangerous. We've seen more torn ACLs, more back injuries and hip injuries than ever. And I think due in part to this simple problem of just dogs having too much hair on their pads. So let's dive into this video and see what we can do to help that problem out. Okay guys, so let's get right into it. Um, we actually did this uh, right rear pad already and we figured uh, we're going to film these three uh, so we're going to get into this left rear pad so we're just going to get right into it guys we're using a 30 blade here um, it's very important how you lift the leg you really want to just kind of don't lift it outward lift it up and try not to lift it too high and support the dog my left hand is up in here supporting the dog as i'm doing this so we're just going to tap with our 30 blade Got some serious matting in the pad, but this 30 blade is really going to work it out quickly. So we're kind of coming up, little V shape, just like that. And then we're gonna come down and meet that mat, just like that, okay? And it's just gonna come right out, just like that. Just work it out slowly. And then we could just clean up everything else. There you go. So just like that, I'm just gonna give him a break, put his leg down, and we'll just show you that again. So there you go. So all this, all stuck in there. So when this is happening, guys, you really have to get it out because this is one of the main contributors of dogs getting injured. Uh, when the pads are like this, you know, if you had, have hardwood floors or anything or tile, dogs are slipping. If they go to jump, you know, they're going to tear their ACL. They're going to they're going to hurt their 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 hips. Um, so it's very very important to get this stuff out because it's kind of like they have carpets on their feet. Um, don't get me wrong, if you have a working dog or something like that, or an outdoor dog that's pulling a sled, uh, yes, then you might want to keep this stuff in there for the protection of the pad, but the average household dog isn't pulling a sled or anything, so we really just want to get this out to, so that they're not hurting themselves and slipping all over the place. Okay, so we're going to be working on this front left. Uh, so I'm going to come up high here and try to clear this out a little bit first. Okay, Bubba. And then same concept. I'm gonna come up. Little V. Just like that. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. Just kind of want to clear it out first. So this front one's a little bit more matted, so we're just kind of using the corner of that 30 and working it out. And it's kind of fussing a little bit, but. I gotta get this out of him. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, good boy. There you go, Baba. There you go. See, those mats go way down under there, right? Down all into the pad there. And that's where they form. So you really have to kind of get the corner of the blade in there and kind of dig it out. Um, I'll be honest with you, you're probably not going to be able to achieve this with a 10 blade. So you're going to have to kind of use that 30, but you have to also be very, very careful with the 30 because it will, it's more susceptible to cutting 
the dog. Uh, you don't want to cut the dog. But what we'll do is, we're going to leave it at that for now. And what we'll do is we'll wash that really well. And once we clean up a lot of that fur inside the pad, then it'll come out easier. Um, but while I'm at it, I like to kind of just do this too. Just grab this stuff. You'll save some time scissoring. Just by doing that. And there you go. A little bit better. We're going to wash that up and go over it again. But, you know, we got most of it out. There's a little bit here. Let me see. Maybe I can kind of grab that. There you go, Bubba. There you go. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. That's all. That's all. Come here. Put it down. We put it down. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, guys. Uh, front right foot now. What we're doing is we're coming up underneath the dog here. Uh, we're not working on his right side because then it's a very awkward angle being that I'm right-handed. Uh, so if you're right-handed, this is just a, a, a better way to do it maybe, you know, uh, but I like to do it this way. This way I can support the dog with my forearm here and it takes less pressure off of him standing. So again, we're just gonna go right at it and I'm just gonna just make some clearance here. You know, half of it is just kind of clearing some stuff out before you get to that matted area. But same thing, we're just gonna kind of dig, dig a little, dig, just like that. Just work it out little by little, just like that. Come maybe down a little, not yet. That's why it's very important to not let this go too long, guys, because it becomes very uncomfortable for the dog. Uh, we do have him muzzled because, you know, he was kind of going for me, so we just don't want to get bitten, and we want to kind of protect him as well. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay. But, you know, you got to kind of work quickly as well, just so that you're not staying on it too, too long. And again, we'll just grab all this stuff. We're going to scissor this up later. But there you go. Here, I'm just going to give him a break. So all of this, all of this came out of that pad. All that hair. So, you know, very important. Get this stuff out. But as you can see, you know, we got most of it out. And again, we're just going to go in. We're going to clean that pad up real nice. We'll go over it and, uh, you know, we'll show you uh, what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is after the bath, like we said, and now uh, all this uh, fur in here is nice and clean, so it's gonna come off a lot easier. So we're just gonna kinda go over the pad and get some of this straggly stuff here that was left over from, uh, from the prep. So let's start. Um, again, we're just getting those corners in, just like that. Grab some of this stuff. We went ahead and did the nails too, so uh, a lot of times, you know, you just might have to play with it with your index finger and do this. It's a little bit fidgety because, you know, when the mats get that bad, it's really tough to kind of get them out and dogs have to go through a little bit more, you know. Key is don't let him get that bad. And you could choose to scissor them, but to be honest with you, uh, if they're as bad as they were on this baby here, um, the scissors aren't going to do much. You're not going to get scissors in there without, you know, cutting the dog or cutting a pad. It's much safer to do with the clipper. So, okay, so, and we're just going to kind of scissor up a little bit here. Now we can just grab the, all that little excess around the pad. We'll just have to be careful. Come around. And so you can definitely see the big difference there, you know, from what it looked like before. 
And again, with that 30 blade, you want to be very, very careful. Don't dig too hard or too deep. But uh, we, we tried to do it with a 10 blade and we just weren't getting behind the mat enough with that 10 blade to, to get it out. So we, we had to go into that 30. But again, don't dig too deep with that 30. Just kind of tap, you know, tap and then come above and go this way and that way. And it will, it will eventually pull out. And uh, then we're just going to go ahead and kind of just as a top of his foot here like this. Like I said, he's very, very sensitive on his feet. So we're trying to just do what we can. I don't want to do too much on him. It, it was a lot for him with the pads. Um, so and so I'll just, you know, baby, put your foot down. There you go, Papa. It's okay. And what will happen a lot too, I want to show you is that, you know, what will end up happening is you'll get this mat right in between the pad here. So you might have to just kind of sneak the scissors in. And again, being very careful to not grab skin, just kind of lift. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay, it's okay. Good boy. Here, baby. Come here. A lot of times we're just kind of lifting and pulling hair up with our index finger and our thumb and getting a little snip going. You know, but that's about it. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much on him. You know, you could see the huge difference here. Uh, now, you know, his pads are nice and clean, um, and uh, you know, his pads actually look really good. They don't look bad at all. Uh, if anything, the the hair may have kept those pads protected in a way as well too so yeah the hair definitely does protect the pads to a sense but as far as dog safety now he could you know he could put that pad down on the ground now and get all the traction he needs he's not going to be slipping and sliding and you know get hurt because of this you know overgrown hair in the pads so you could see the just the extreme difference right here uh, from what we had before so I'm sure he feels a lot better too. So there you have it guys, just another solution to a possible injury that can easily be avoided simply by checking those pads, making sure all that hair is clipped out, making sure the nails are cut down. Guys, just keep an eye on these things, stay on top of it. Regular groomings are going to solve this problem for you as well, but you got to check them at home to make sure it just doesn't get out of hand. Once again guys, if you like this video, please smash that like button for us, subscribe if you're new to our channel, we really, really appreciate it. On behalf of Anthony and I, thank you once again.